Speaking. And go. Is it going now? Is it? You can speak. Yes, it's going now. Sweet. Oh, uh, hang on. Alright, Sean asks, what ideas compel you to compose and how do you go about shaping your projects? Uh, well, Sean, I use a, um, a blunted sort of rusted samurai sword that my great-grandfather gave me from World War I. Uh, he got that sword during a battle, in the Battle of Battleology in Northumbria. And, you know, I've used that mostly to shape my work. So I, I kind of clump it up, all the code and digital bits, into a big pile. And then I just hack at it really angrily, because it's very frustrating. And um, then eventually it just becomes something. But honestly, I don't know. It's hard to tell what compels you. I mean, that's a good thing about digital poetry is that there's no one entry point. You know, you can like a sound and that drives your work, or you can find a series of images and that drives your work. You could discover an interface. In fact, a lot of my work begins with different types of interfaces. Um, so maybe that becomes the, the starting point with what you're doing. Um, and so really, and oftentimes if you begin a project, by the time that you finish it, uh, it's totally something else. Or oftentimes, I, I've made numerous projects that I've completely finished and hated and torn apart, and they become bits of other projects. So in a way, it's almost like, I mean, I hate to say Lego blocks because that's kind of a cliche, but it's a bit true. Like, you just make these little bits and pieces and they end up in strange ways becoming projects. Um, and so, you know, obviously I have a fascination with certain themes. I have a fascination with um, eating different types of animals. I have a fascination with uh, all sorts of conspiracy theories and sort of magic realism, I guess. I have a fascination with the absurd. I have a fascination with, with messy. Um, but really, most of my projects, they don't come from any one place. I quite literally, my hard drive is the most crazy, cluttered place you could imagine. I have half-finished projects everywhere. I probably have 40 finished projects, and I probably have maybe easily 150 unfinished projects. Some, some of them are close to completion. Some are things that are years old that I've just never done anything with. Um, and I find that's a great way of operating. I think that that's probably somewhat unusual for a lot of digital poets because most of them make one thing and they spend so much time doing it they feel like they have to release it. Whereas I'm constantly creating, there are lots of projects that never go anywhere. And I cannibalize them later. Um, but I hope really that answers your question, Sean, because you and I have had a close relationship for a long time. And it's important to me that I answer your questions. I'm very sarcastic. I apologize. All right, that's it.